Hello and welcome back to Multivendor X. We are back with another video tutorial on GeoMy WordPress. With our busy schedule, we prefer to look for the store nearest to our location to save time. With Multivendor X integrated with GeoMy WordPress, the seller can set up their store location and display the product location in the real time. Among many advantages, one of them is when the seller runs a rental goods store like car, electronic gadgets or even a motorbike where the customer can determine the area before renting them. To enjoy the facility of accurately locating places of the nearest stores or products or even renting services, update your plans to Multivendor X Pro along with that install and activate the GeoMy WordPress plugin. As R is already installed, we'll just be configuring them to see how our sellers can add their product location from their respective dashboard. Like always, close your eyes and click on Multivendor X module. Once redirected, scroll down to third-party compatibility and enable the GeoMy WordPress option. Now there is a slight change in the settings. For this, instead of hovering over to Multivendor X settings, we will be clicking onto this GeoMy WordPress plugin right here. As soon as the menu list pop, click on settings, move on to the maps and geocoders tab and add your Google API key. In case you are confused how to add a Google API keys, you can refer to many tutorials video on YouTube. After you are done adding your API keys, you need to enable the post locator extension. Don't worry, it's free and easy to access. As you activate the post locator, the post locator tab will appear on the setting page. Select the post locator tab and click on post type placeholder. Once you select the post type placeholder, a drop down list appears. Select the product types option from the list. That is it. No further changes are required. Recheck whether all the credentials are working fine. Finally, click on the save option. Well, that's all about the few simple steps for the admin configuration. Now let's quickly switch the screen to see how the vendors can add a product location. Again from the vendor dashboard, select the add product option. If it's a new product or all the product option found under the product manager option if it's an old product. Let me create a new product that will get transported to the product details page. Once all the product details are added as per requirements, directly scroll down to the geolocator meta box. On to the geolocator meta box, the vendor needs to add the following details. Depends on the type of the products, some products may have different pickup locations, but in most cases, refer to the store location of the vendor. The vendor must add the area in which they are located. The coordinates of the location appears as soon as the address is added. Vendors can also input coordinates separately in case Google fails to locate the specific area of the stores. The contact information of the vendors needs to be added right here. Here, the vendor must add the store hours. Once all the details are added and updated, you can either save or publish or submit the product for the admin's review. With this, we have come to the end of our video. If you like the tutorial, then do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Click on to the small red bell to get notified whenever we post a new video. Thank you for watching.